so as I told you before, we are in Genova today and we want to show you a place that we really like. And the story begins in this church that you see in the background that is called Santa Maria della Consolazione. The church was built in 1600 and the city had a very uh, ambitious project to build beside the church a huge monastery with a cloister. But instead of the cloister that was never been built, it grew in the time this cover market that is still one of the most favorite places for Genovese and uh, for, for foreigners to come and buy their food. Okay, and now we're inside the market and there's a lot of movement on a Saturday morning as you can probably see from the people around here. The fact that it's called Mercato Orientale is really connected to the fact that it was more the gateway of the, towards the east of the city as opposed to what everybody in general would think it was called that, that because of the Asian aspects of the Oriental market. It was finished in 1899 and it's considered to have two levels but everybody really sticks to the lower level where the good stuff is. Let's go check it out. Of course, fish is the king of the cover market. And luckily, it's 12 o'clock, so a lot of the fish that was on the counter has already gone to the tables. But um, you can still see a lot of fish that comes directly from the Mediterranean Sea. But I want you to notice another peculiar kind of fish, that is bacala e stoccafisso. Bacala is a uh, uh, fish, codfish, dried and preserved in uh, salt, and stoccafisso is dry uh, f uh, codfish. They both come from Norway, and um, uh, in, spite, in spite of the fact that it comes from Norway, is uh, one of the in basic in ingredients for a lot of very, very good and delicious uh, dishes in the Italian cuisine. And this is the princess of the street market, anchovies, and acciughe nostrane. This used to be a very cheap fish because these are very small fish and they have no, that they are not valuable like uh, other fish. But um, in, the, in today's kitchen is uh, considered a very noble um, fish because it's, uh, we call it bluefish. It has a, a lot of, um, um, it's, it's very good for your health. And since they have, they're very small, they don't absorb so, so much uh, metals like the big fish, like the swordfish. So actually it's very good for your diet. And sometimes in the market you see very weird stuff. Another very important ingredient in uh, the Italian cuisine is fresh vegetables. So you can see here the counter is full of colorful vegetables, but two of them for me are the most Look important. Look to the basil here. You see how the leaves are small? To have the perfect flavor and to make the, the, the Ligurian pesto, pesto sauce, you have to have small basil. And, uh, you know, pesto in Genova is like a religion, so you never, never use um, basil leaves bigger than this. And the other um, amazing ingredient is zucchini, but have a look to this, this zucchini. They're very small and light. The green is very light, and this means that they are like baby zucchini, very sweet. But on top of them, you can still see their flowers. They sell it this way, both to show that they're very fresh and because the people use them use the flour to make a special dish that is called the stuffed zucchini flowers you put the, you, you stuff it first and then you put it in a batter and you fry them and i can tell you it's amazing they they taste amazing and here we have all kind of bread and usually places where they sell bread, they also sell ready-made pesto sauce. You can see it here. You see the color is bright and nice and, and, uh, and colorful. 
and it's not oily at all because it has a lot and a lot of basil leaves inside. And we also have uh, stuffed pasta, but we will talk about that uh, another time because stuffed pasta is very common in Italy and it requires a special attention. Here you see another wonder of the Italian cuisine. It is dried porcini. You can see different qualities at different prices. You see the, the wider is the, the, the porcino that has been dried up, the higher is the price. But the, the aroma, I, I wish you could be here to smell the aroma that comes out of these dried mushrooms. They're wonderful. And um, very little uh, quantity is needed to make a marvelous risotto. Now we are here in this country that is specialized in um, tartufo, truffle, and mushrooms. And they also have amazing herbs for wild herbs for cooking. But I, I want to ask the owner how long he has been in this, uh, in his family, how long he has been in this market. Quanto tempo state eh, che siete in questo mercato? Noi siamo i più vecchi del mercato perché siamo in generazione dal 1920. Ah, he says that all his family has been working here and they have the counter here, their shop, since 1920s. So it goes back to his father and the father of his father. So now it's one o'clock and the market is finally closing. Uh, we're going to get kicked out of here pretty soon, but we're very happy to have brought you down here to Genova to see the Mercato Orientale, which is one of the key features of the city. There's going to be more stuff like this coming from Casa Chiesi and as the doors come down, we invite you to check it out in the future. Thanks for watching.